go YouTube here we go YouTube um, it's me again I'm gonna do another beer review and um, using a uh, webcam off my laptop like I say old cheap laptop got on sale at Walmart and uh, we're gonna do another beer review I did one earlier today uh, gonna do another one so that one went pretty well even though I know the uh, picture is not great the sound is good but the picture is not great but that's okay I'm working on that we're gonna get that figured out anyway the beer we're gonna be reviewing tonight because it is nighttime it's about 1030 at night we are reviewing Budweiser yes this is that uh, new cans they come out with red white and blue you know, because this is supposedly an all-American beer. Even though I heard a German company owns it now. Even though it was started by Germans. I mean, you know, Budweiser, that's the German name. Was started, was brewed by German immigrants in the United States. A um, lot of history about this beer. Matter of fact, there's so much history on this beer, I really don't have to go into it. If you drink beer, then you probably already know the history about this beer. My history with this beer is I've had this beer many occasions. I used to drink it religiously. Religiously, I was at the point to where I'd either drink this or I'd drink water. But I'm a little older, a little wiser now, and um, we're going to give this beer a review, so let's get right to it. There we go, pop the top. We're going to use big old glass, because like I said in the earlier video, if you're going to drink beer, you should drink beer out of a big ass mug like this. We're going to give it a pour. Wow. That is a foamy, soapy head. Look at that, YouTube. Looks like uh, looks like dishwater. So soapy, man. That is a soapy head. All right. It is clear. It is really. Let me put it to the light over here so I can take a good look at it. Yes, this is clear. This is golden clear not a lot of bubbles streaming up from the glass this is clear very clear you can see right through it I guess we'll go with the smell test like I say I'm not really big on the smell test because as many times as I've seen people drink beer outside in bars wherever I've never seen them smell the beer but we'll give it a whiff And right away you can smell alcohol it's got that clean water smell creek water smell yeah I'd say this beer has a creek water smell yeah okay let's let's, let's drink it let's drink it y'all let's see what we got here and by the way I'm gonna give this a fair review you know I'm not gonna be biased since I used to drink it. I'm going to give it a fair review. Okay. Light. Very light. Very watery. Definitely. Okay. Kind of bitter. Not very bitter. Drinkable. Definitely drinkable. You could you could pound these all day. I used to. You could definitely pound this down. Getting sort of a vegetable taste. Sort of like a vegetable oil taste, but not as oily, just that flavor of vegetable oil I guess and a little bitterness a 
Yeah. Yeah. I can see why people like this because it's pretty average beer. This is the beer that uh, most people start off drinking. When you start drinking beer, you usually start off drinking Budweiser because you can find Budweiser everywhere. Literally everywhere you can find Budweiser. If you go to some place and they don't have Budweiser, something is wrong. But, uh, let's see. For a beer, not bad. Well rounded. Nothing really off putting about it. The only thing that may be off putting to you craft beer people out there is it's watery. I will say that it is watery, but nothing after putting, nothing off putting about it, no aftertaste, none of that shit there. Nothing really offensive about it. It's good barbecue beer here. If you got a big plate of barbecue or whatever, big old fat cheeseburger or whatever, let's go good with it. But. Drinking it now and giving it a fair review, I'd say there ain't much on flavor with this here. There ain't much on flavor at all. It's just regular old beer, to be honest with you. Mm. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, as in the, the 10 glass tests, I would give this a 7 out of 10. I give it a 7 because it is well-rounded. You can drink it, but there's not much to it. And now that I'm a little older, I'm actually curious to know why in the hell I have such a fascination for Budweiser. I really don't know. But I'm going to end this review by saying uh, this is an all right beer. Pretty solid. It's 5%. So it get you drunk. You drink enough of this. It'll get you drunk. So, uh, all I can say is uh, y'all keep drinking. Y'all have a nice day.